Hi, I'm Ben. Hey, I'm Miguel. And this is Edge EDU. Miguel, what are we going to be learning about today? Today we're going to be discussing the proper techniques on how to remove your suction retainer nuts along with your suction discharge covers on your EXL fluid end. Great. Let's see what we're going to need to get started. We're going to need our sledgehammer, our three inch hammer wrench, and our cover removal tool. Safety is always number one. Ensure you're wearing your PPE before starting any task. Well, let's get started. Let's do it. We'll start by using the three inch hammer wrench and the hammer to loosen the retainer nut. Then we'll then remove the retainer nut by hand or using the wrench. We'll take the new suction cover removal tool and we'll install it into the suction cover. Now, the removal tool will remove some debris, but we may need a one inch eight tap in case it's really bad. We'll want to ensure that we have four threads engaged so not to damage the threads during the removal process. We'll turn the handle clockwise until we remove the suction cover. We'll set those to the side and then we'll repeat for the remaining retainer nuts and suction covers. This completes the process. Well, that's a wrap. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Technical Services. You can find additional information and links below. We'll see you next time.